now in prime time from the Bay Area's local news station. You're watching Cron 4 News at 9. We the people have a constitutional right to life, liberty, and estate. No eviction. One of Oakland's largest homeless encampments can now stay put. Caltrans was set to begin clearing out the Wood Street encampment today following a huge fire last week, but a federal judge has put that sweep on hold. Thank you for joining us here during Cron 4 News at 9. I'm Justine Waldman and for Vicki tonight. And I'm Grant Lotus. A hearing is now set for Friday to address what happens next with this massive encampment. Cron 4's Dan Thorne has the update. This massive fire stopped traffic for hours in West Oakland. The burning coming from the sprawling Wood Street homeless encampment under the I-880 overpass. The July 11th fire was the latest of a series to break out at the site over the last year, sparking the state's transportation agency to schedule a cleanup starting Wednesday. I don't want this to happen. Evictions are unconstitutional. We are living on public land. Theo Cedar Jones is a resident of the Wood Street encampment. He, along with hundreds of others, would have had to move out if Caltrans cleanup happened as planned. But a federal judge stopped the clearing out with a temporary restraining order. Caltrans has engaged in hundreds of encampment closures in the last several years, uh, displacing thousands of human beings. It is a ghastly train of crimes against humanity. A spokesperson for Caltrans would not comment specifically on the temporary restraining order, but said the agency stands by its belief that the encampment is unsafe and should be cleared. The state agency has previously said they would work with the city of Oakland and Alameda County to set up shelter beds for the residents. Jones would prefer to stay. People say we're homeless, but we're not. We're landless. None of the people living out here are lacking for shelter. What we lack is land sovereignty. The property where the residents lived is owned by Caltrans, along with the city, railroads, and other government agencies. A hearing is set for Friday at 10 a.m. to determine if the restraining order continues or the closure begins. Reporting in Oakland, Dan Thorne, Cron 4 News.